Hello and welcome back to another Shelby Next uh, tutorial. Uh, my name is Tim Smith. I'm the Director of Communications at First Presbyterian Church in Dallas. And today I'm going to show you how to download the Shelby Next app onto your iPhone, if you have an iPhone. What you wanna do is the same thing you do if you'd like to download any other app to your iPhone, is you wanna to go to the Apple App Store. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna to go to the Apple App Store click on that icon and come up to the search bar and I'm going to type in Shelby Next. Click enter and once I've done that I can see I've got Shelby Next membership, Shelby Next giving. The one that I'm going to want to download is going to be Shelby Next membership. So I'm going to click the get button or I've already downloaded it once. So I'll just click that cloud button and re-download it from the cloud. Great. Once I have that, I'm going to open it. Your domain is going to be FPC Dallas. And it says dot Shelby next chms.com, which is correct. I'm going to type in the username and password that's unique to me that was sent to my email. And I'm going to click sign in. Great. Once I'm here, this is what my landing page is going to look like. From here, I can access the directory straight away. And you can see people's names here, or I can search for a specific person. Let's search for myself. There I am. Click myself, and I'll be able to have that information at my fingertips. Looks like I need to add a picture still. Going back to the landing page by clicking those back buttons, I also have access to the calendar. So I can click here and scroll through the calendar and click on events and look at the description for each of those. Coming back here, or I have the option to check into the church or I can give by clicking the give button. I can make a one-time gift through this method, or if I'd like to set it as a recurring payment coming out each week or each month, I can just click on recurring and I can start that right away by what kind of method I'd like to use, the amount, what fund I'd like it to come from, and then click next to follow those directions. 